Look, I love this real estate environment right now. It's going awesome, right? Everyone is making money, right? You can find a shack on the side of the road and it's gone up 10X in the next three months, right? Nobody can lose, right? Everyone's the smartest real estate investor in the world, right? I talk to people all the time. Everyone's telling me how to do things and they've been doing it for three months. They don't even think a downside exists, right? Well, let me tell you something. It does exist and you know, it will happen. It always happens. Now, I'm not gonna give some prophecy that it's gonna crash and you know, fire and brimstone and it's gonna be the end of the earth. But I think that it's safe to say everything has a correction and we are going to see a correction in this market just like we see it in any market. Now, what I would suggest that a lot of people do is you need to start preparing for the next cycle, right? Because this is not going to last forever. When it starts becoming unobtainable for average people to either rent a place or buy a place, that is a sign, right? There are indicators that are telling you. The data and the numbers tell you a story. Whether or not we choose to listen to that story and we prepare for the next coming, that's on us, right? I know because the last cycle I wasn't prepared and I didn't pay attention and it ended up biting me very, very badly. So one of the things I would say is always make sure that you're looking out for the next thing, right? I'm not saying you have to act on it, but I would advise that you start studying, you start learning and you start realizing that yes, cycles change, you're gonna have to do something else and see what's coming next. Look, short-term rentals may be great right now. Doesn't mean that they're going to be great in the next year, two years, three years, right? You get enough lobbyists from these big hotel chains that say no more, they could squash it. There's enough money out there on the other side that they could squash short-term rentals. People tell me, no, that'll never happen. I don't know, I don't, I don't have a, you know, I don't have a dog in that fight, I don't care either way. But the reality is, is what I say and what you say have nothing to do with reality of what's going to happen, right? And you got inflation, you've got them printing money, you've got this eviction moratorium, you've got all these things going on for you to sit there with your money, your family's money, you have a fiduciary responsibility to make sure that you are being responsible with your money, meaning your future and what's going on. So don't get lulled into this false sense of security that everything is great, it's never gonna go bad, and you're always gonna be making money. I would suggest you start looking at what the next thing is, right? It could be creative financing for people that are over leveraged in their properties and you may be learning subject to, you may be learning wrap mortgages, right? There's other things that you could do, but I would suggest you start learning these other strategies because they will come in handy. You will be able to use them. And you know, the thing that I've learned about being successful in real estate and how I've built a million, millions of dollars in portfolio real estate is I have all these tools. I know all the different things that I could do. When I choose to use each tool is the key. So I may use a subject to tool at one point, but I may use a owner financing for another, or I may buy cash, I may do a JV partnership. The thing is, is I have the knowledge and I know which is the deal to use at the right time. It's kind of like knowing what tool to use in your tool chest, but it takes time to study those. And that's what I want you to do is just think about how are you studying, what are you doing, and how are you being better every day because you gotta prepare for the next cycle because it is coming. Hope this helps.